Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me to share with you for the week of October 10th through the 16th of 2022. For this week, I pulled in the NYC kit from Odd Loop, a couple of different washi tapes from Simply Gilded, some date dots, no, date covers from Saucy Stickers Co. and date dots from Kinsey's Creations. I think that covers everything that I showed in the first couple of seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on into it. For this week, I started by putting all of my date dots and date covers up at the top of each day. These date covers are actually super old, and I'm trying to remember if I had a hard time getting them to stick to the page or not just because they are so old, but I had them in my collection and I bought very few pages from this collection. I'm pretty sure I... did I just buy the full boxes and glitter headers? I think I may have done exactly that. I don't remember. I, I like have the memory of a goldfish. And even though I showed you all of the pages at the very beginning, I was more focused on recording my voiceover than I was, you know, actually watching the video. So, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I just purchased the glitter headers and all of the full boxes for this kit. And <sighs> yeah, went from there. Okay. Sorry. I'm feeling a little bit exhausted today. I just got home from work and it's been kind of a long day. And I just sat through some very not fun rush hour traffic, so I'm feeling a little bit sleepy, but I had some time before I have to go to volleyball tonight, and I wanted to record this voiceover for you guys. So, I started by staggering all of my full boxes like I usually do, and then I staggered all of my glitter headers. I really love the colors in this kit. Very fall. And then I pulled in both of the washi tapes, which I think I already explained are from Simply Gilded stunning hollow foil. I pulled in so much hollow foil for this spread, which you guys will see, I think, gradually throughout it. Uh, I didn't want to make the very beginning of this week super long, or at least the intro super long, um, or super complex for myself. So I think I just showed, you know, the basics of what I would need to create a spread with all of the uh, glitter headers, full boxes, and washi and date covers, all those things. Anyway, I feel a little bit like I'm rambling, so I'm going to try to rein it in a little, get it together. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. I can't believe it's the end of October in real life in 2024. It's bizarre to me. I will continue to say that probably for the rest of the year, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move into my sidebar. I think both of those habit trackers are from my leftover stash, so I'm not entirely sure where those are from, but the weekly ombre is from Scribble Prints Co. I'm very sorry if you hear some background noise. I will try to cut as much of that out as I possibly can, like I usually do, but Maisie's in here hanging out with me, so you might hear some puppy noises and you might hear some noise from, or I guess road noise because it is rush hour. Maisie's just being adorable. She's just kind of rubbing her face into the side of her puppy bed. It's so stinking cute. Anyway, I used wash hair and bite guard stickers. Those are from Kinsey's Creations. The October script is also from Kinsey's Creations. The flag sticker in the upper corner is from Station Stickers. And then I pulled in a bunch of silver foil glitter header overlays from Sticky Sloth Designs, who is no longer open. I do apologize. There are a number of shops in this spread that are no longer open, but I will, of course, list and link every shop that is open in the description box below. And if they're not open, I will let you know that as well. Where was I at? I feel like I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, how's your October going so far? I would love to know. Tell me something good that happened this month. I would love to hear from you guys. Just leave me a comment. Tell me something good that happened or something that you're looking forward to for the next month. I know November is coming up and that can be an exciting time as well. Okay, here we are going into the day by day. On Monday, I marked working from home. That flag sticker, I think is from KPL Plans. And then I pulled in a work from home script from uh, Station Stickers. I needed to take my car in because my transmission control module was basically dead, uh, which was really not great. So I pulled in this car icon from SPC and label from SPC. I also had Einstein Brothers for breakfast that morning. The coffee icon is from SPC. The script is from Kinsey's Creations. That evening, we were watching the first season of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, so I marked that in. I 
think that label might be from Caress Press, if I'm not mistaken. And then I did some laundry. The laundry icon is from Caress Press as well. The script is from Carly Plans. And then we had takeout box for dinner. The noodle sticker is from SPC. On Tuesday, I worked from home again. I pulled in another flag from KPL Plans, script from Station Stickers. And then I needed to pick up, I think the rental car is what I was picking up at this point because my car was unsafe to drive. So yeah, I pulled in this car icon from SPC, pick up script from Carly Plans. And then I had therapy later that day. The, um, the at symbol is from SPC. The script is from Carly Plans. I did some more laundry. The icon is from Caress Press and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. And then I did some planning. The planner icon is from SPC and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. On Wednesday, it was payday. So I pulled in an icon from SPC and script from Kinsey's Creations. There's going to be a lot of repetition in this spread. I'm pretty sure. Then I went to Starbucks. The coffee cup icon is from Rose Colored Days, I'm pretty sure. The script is from Kinsey's Creations, and then I marked work with another KPL Plans flag and script from Station Stickers. I did also have a migraine that day. That icon is from what used to be called Sticker Bloom. I believe she's now called either Vanilla Paper Co. or Vanilla Paper Studio. I will let you know in the description box. And then the migraine script is from Kinsey's Creations. We had Tropical Smoothie Cafe for dinner that evening. The smoothie sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I went to bed early. The icon is from SPC. The script is from Kinsey's Creations. On Thursday morning, I stopped at Panera before going to work. And I did this a little bit out of order. I do fix that at some point. Um, I, I, yeah. <laughs> The coffee icon is from Rose Colored Days. The Panera script is from Carly Plans. And I will eventually go back up and do that uh, and use some undo to pull everything up. I did get gas that morning as well. The car icon is from SPC. The get gas script is from Kinsey's Creations. And then I did mark work because I went to work in the office that day. I marked that the same way that I did on Wednesday. I really didn't do a whole lot each of these days, but um, I don't know. It, it somehow still fills the spread out pretty nicely. And I do actually kind of like a lot of the, like, the white space that's in here. I'm really enjoying that look. Anyway, the last thing I did that night was clean the house. The house icon is from SPC. The clean script is from Kinsey's Creations. Moving on to Friday, I stopped at Panera again. The coffee cup sticker is from Rose Colored Days. The script is from Carly Plans. Then I marked work the same way that I did on Thursday with another KPL plans flag and work script from Station Stickers. I needed to pack that evening. The suitcase icon that I pulled in is super old from Caress Press. I'm almost certain that that is no longer sold in her shop. And then the pack script is from Kinsey's Creations. And then I did some more tidying before I left. The whole, the, wow. <sighs> The house icon, I was trying to say house and home at the same time and struggling to do either very well. Anyway, that icon is from SBC. The script is from Kinsey's Creations. I completely forgot that I added extender boxes for Saturday and Sunday. So, oops, my bad. Um, I just had to readjust my mic if it sounds a little bit different, just so that I, it was sitting right on top of the, uh, the boxes that were folded over. So, my bad. Um, but Saturday was Kyo's fourth birthday. The cat icon is from Fox and Cactus. We had to get up early. The clock icon is from SPC. And then I used a flight checker from Caress Press to mark our flight to New York City. We went to drop off our luggage because our room wasn't quite ready. We got there a little bit earlier in the morning, like before we were able to check in. That luggage icon is from Caress Press. And then we went to Junior's for breakfast. We were staying in the Times Square area because we were going to see a couple of Broadway plays. We were planning on seeing one Broadway play and then we ended up seeing two, which I'll get to eventually. But anyway, that breakfast icon is from SPC. And then we went to the 9-11 Memorial. If you haven't been and you're going to New York City, I highly recommend. It is like the one place in the city that is eerily quiet and it's beautifully done. Especially for someone who lived through 9-11, like through those times, I wasn't there. But as someone who watched it happen, um, it's, it's incredible to go see. Highly recommend. 
Anyway, then we were able to check into our hotel. I just used this car ride icon from SPC for that. We took a nap. The slipper sticker is from SPC, nap script from Kinsey's Creations. We went to the Muji store, which was really cool. The shopping bag icon is from SPC. And then we had some, I don't know, it wasn't just sushi. We also had Japanese food at Otaya uh, Times Square, which was just so fantastic. We also needed a couple uh, to make a couple runs to CVS and H&M. So I pulled in this clothing icon for that. And then we accidentally walked through a rave in Times Square. We were just trying to get back to our hotel and there was a full on rave happening, which was really interesting. On Sunday, I just took some time to get ready. The icon is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then we went to Cosmic Diner for breakfast. The breakfast icon is from SPC. We walked around Central Park and there were leaves already turning colors. It was absolutely beautiful. So I pulled in the sticker from Once More With Love for that. We did a little bit of shopping at uh, Inglot and American Eagle. It was really cool to be able to go into an actual Inglot store. It was small, but it was just stunning, stunningly beautiful in there. But I'm a makeup nerd, so you know, there's that. Then I got ready for the show. The icon is from SPC. We saw Hugh Jackman in The Music Man, and I pulled in this movie marquee from SPC to mark that. Oh my gosh, Hugh Jackman is fantastic. I mean, I, I love Hugh Jackman anyway, but live? Oh my goodness. Just phenomenal. It was a fantastic show. I have nothing but good things to say about it. Then we stopped and got pizza on our way back to the hotel. And then kind of on a whim, we realized that Wicked was playing and we just, there were still tickets left. And we were like, we're here in New York City. We're leaving tomorrow. Like we have time to go see another show tonight. So just on a whim, we decided to go see Wicked. And I pulled in another movie marquee from SPC for that. And then on our way home, we ended up getting some frozen yogurt at 16 Handles. The ice cream sticker is from SPC. And then we had to repack all of our luggage. The script is from Kinsey's Creations. And the icon is from Caress Press. So that is pretty much it for this spread. And I'm just popping my page back into my planner, doing a little planner wiggle to show off all the foil. That's everything that I had left from the pages that I bought from this kit. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everyone.